Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another fantastic FNAF movie news video. We got an AR Snapchat filter, some brand new secret characters revealed, as well as some crazy behind the scenes coming very, very soon. So we're going to be taking a look at that, some brand new footage, and so, so much more in today's FNAF news video. So if you're excited, scroll down, subscribe to the channel. I keep saying it, but as we draw closer and closer to the film's release in just one week now, there's going to be all sorts of crazy news happening before and even even after the film releases, so subscribing to this channel is the best way to stay up to date with everything going on with FNAF and the FNAF movie. And let's kick this video off by talking about that crazy new Snapchat filter that just released in promotion for the film. And as you can see, very similar to the official spin-off game FNAF Special Delivery, this features AR elements that puts the animatronics inside of your house. You can interact with them, get up close to them, shine your flashlight on them, get some really good looks at these 3D scans of the actual animatronics used in the film. Film. They can even jump scare you, their eyes turn red, they get all angry, this filter is just absolutely crazy. And now let's move on to some brand new footage and ads. First up we got this concession spot, Welcome to featuring Fast Kim as you can see, where fantasy and fun come to life. as the endoskeleton. Hey let's introduce you to the stars of the show. Oh yeah! Freddy. Hey Freddy! Bonnie. Hey Bonnie! Chica! <laughs> Chica with the wink! And Cupcake! Let's go Cupcake! The There's the cupcakes jump scare. Pizza for a limited time only. Adorable, aren't they? The main takeaway for me for this trailer was, of course, the cupcakes jump scare. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely terrifying. The way he lunges out at Carl in the kitchen, he looks like Nightmare Cupcake, actually, with all these teeth. And then we got another vertical ad featuring new voice lines from Vanessa. Promise me one thing. When you're at Freddy's, You've seen these shots? you stay alert. Is that jump scare again, Foxy looking around. There's Jeff. William. Yeah, so not much new stuff in this trailer. We just get Vanessa repeating, hey, when you're at Freddy, stay alert. Then we get this shot of Jeff, who is kind of the leader of the gang who breaks into Freddy's, trying to escape through one of the vents. And then we got a brand new featurette with the cast and the crew of the film. As you can see, Matthew Lillard. Very intense. Josh Hutcherson. A thrill ride. Emma, the director. Is Elizabeth Lyle, Jason. Scary. 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 I think it's scary, guys. Corey. Then we get some brand new shots of the characters up on the stage. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is the only new footage here. Freddy and Bonnie performing up on the stage, and then Freddy turns to look at someone, possibly Mike in this scene. Also interesting to note, Chica is missing. You can see Foxy just over here as well, so the only character not on the show stage is Chica for some reason. And then we got some brand new interviews with Emma Tammy, which she revealed some interesting information about the film. First up, she does confirm the time period in which the film takes place. Film is set in the year 2000, and we're flashing back to... 80s and 90s um, eras, and I think... We so that's super interesting. The film itself takes place in the year 2000. And of course, the flashbacks to the 80s and 90s eras is when the pizzeria is actually in operation. But the actual main part of the film, when Mike's there, after, of course, the place has been shut down for a while, the animatronics have just been left there, that part takes place in the year 2000. And lastly, for this interview, it's not really news, but I thought it was pretty funny. At one point, Foxy caught on fire. I'm not even joking. Listen to this. We were rolling, and I heard someone quietly and calmly say, Foxy's arm is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> just casually and calmly saying, hey, uh, hey, Emma, yeah, Foxy's just on fire. FNAF setting on fire is kind of a meme at this point. It's happened so many times in the games, but even the film is not safe from bursting into flames. And lastly, for crew interviews, we had Jason Blum going on the late night show with Seth Meyers. Oh, and this is how Jason's introduced. Friday nights at Freddy's. Friday nights at Freddy's. Fr are you kidding me, Seth? Even Scott Cawthon clapped back at this. He gets no respect. Even Jason goes at Seth. It's a very common misconception. It's five nights, not Friday nights. It's not the most interesting interviews, I'll be honest. He talks just a bit about production. As you can see, though, Jason did confirm at Blumhouse they went through eight directors, 15 scripts for the FNAF movie. Also, not too long ago, we had New York Comic Con, where Blumfest actually had their own panel, where Emma and Jason talked about the film. And people attending the panel also got to see an exclusive clip from the film, which reportedly featured Mike watching the Kim VHS tape. We have seen quite a bit of this scene in the 
the actual trailers themselves, so nothing too much to write home about here. Just Mike watching the security training tape with Cam, it glitches out a bit as they show the animatronics. But in my opinion, the main takeaway from the panel was something that Emma said in regards to secret characters. Because she did confirm that, quote, there is one FNAF character that we have not yet revealed in any teasers or trailers. So of course, that's got people speculating. It could be Balloon Boy, though we do see a drawing of him on the wall, so technically he's been teased. A lot of people are speculating it could be the puppet because they are actually the ones that give gifts and of course give life to the spirits possessing the animatronics. But actually, we might have just gotten revealed who the secret character is because Scott Cawthon actually released a brand new FNAF game. You heard that right, the man was not retiring, apparently. The FNAF movie is not his final project, TikTok. Because over on Game Jolt, he put out FNAF The Movie The Game, and not only does the Game Jolt page have two brand new teasers of Foxy as well as Bonnie emerging from the supply closet, but the description also stated experience the movie storytelling as an interactive adventure. For those who don't want the movie spoiled for them, I would recommend staying away from this game until after next week. Major spoilers ahead. Head. And so, of course, everyone went to go download the game, only to be greeted with Freddy in Space 3, Chica in Space. That's right, it's another troll game. However, it wasn't all in vain, because after beating the game, you get a link to this secret unlisted YouTube video by Universal. Now, as you can see, it is nine minutes long. We will not be watching the full nine minutes. If you want to take a look at the video for yourself, again, I'm gonna leave it linked down below, but there are secrets on the security cameras that we absolutely, absolutely have to talk about. So first up... We get this brand new shot of Vanessa as well as Mike looking at Freddy on the show stage. And then after that, we also get Kim talking. <laughs> Adorable, aren't they? Protecting these cuddly critters in the proprietary technology that brings them to life of is course. now your sacred duty. Keep them safe. We get a few flashes of Bonnie and Chica outside of that vent. We get a shot of Foxy up on the stage. Look at him performing. He looks so happy. And then after that, we get a clip right here of a newscaster reporting on the missing kids. We do get a full, clearer video of it later on in the video, where we got Mike entering the pizzeria. And then right after Foxy crushes some balls, <laughs> we get someone screaming, Garrett. Now to me, that seems pretty clear, like that is young Mike in the woods, in the park, when, when Garrett actually goes missing, right? And so he's looking around, trying to find his younger brother. He can't find him, so he's screaming out, Garrett, Garrett, where are you? And then we also got an endoskeleton right here, who flashes up for like one second, and then he's gone. Got a phone ringing. We got Matthew. Let me give you a little backstory. He talks for a while. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. It's been shut down for years. The only reason they haven't given it the old wrecking ball the treatment. Owner, owner, the owner, the owner, the owner of a... So notice how when he talks about the owner, it glitches out. I really do feel like they might have cut Henry out of the film adaptation, or at least they're saving him for a reveal in a future film. It seems like they're really trying to paint Matthew's character uh, of Steve Raglan, Willie Mafton, as the sole owner and founder of Freddy's. Well, he's kind of a sentimental guy, I guess. <laughs> just can't bring himself to let it go yet. <laughs> yeah, just the way he's talking about it. Yeah. Had some trouble with break-ins over the years. Drunk Someone in this camera. Mostly not ideal. Security systems dated, but fully functional. Floodlights on the outside. Care and the way he's explaining the backstory and then also talking about the establishment, I feel like this is the night one phone call. Or this is that scene when Mike calls uh, Steve Raglan in his home, and that's when he's like, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm desperate. I need this job. Give me some details about it. What's going to be happening while I'm working there? Cameras inside and outside. Fair warning. The electricity is a bit iffy. Electricity's iffy. So I feel like we're going to get a power out scene. We got some brand new cameras. We got Hank walking around, swinging a bat, and he is just going to be just practicing his swinging. We got Chico over there as well. He does this for a while. He just messes about. Boom! Swing, batter, batter. The saw trap. <laughs> got more shots of the cupcake. An interesting shot right here. This room is still confusing me. I don't know what room this is. It's a yellow wall. Like, who has that color inside their house? Because this looks like just a basic TV or something. 
I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts and theories. And this is that same security tape. We got Hank running from the dining room down this hall into the supply closet right here. Here he goes. This shot of the cupcake that we've seen. Where his eyes light up. He's looking around. Then we get a jump scare of the cupcake once again. And he's behind a crate it looks like. So either he's attacking someone in the vent. Here we can see it once again. This scene of Jeff, the leader of the group who breaks into Freddy's. Trying to escape through the vent. Looks like he's trying to manually unscrew the screws or something. We got some Morse code as well. And there is the one, the frickin' only. This is the main thing that everyone's been talking about. What appears to be Shadow Frickin' Freddy. Having Shadow Freddy in the film is extremely, extremely interesting. He could just be like a little secret Easter egg character, you know, who shows up for like one frame in the cameras. FNAF fans can be like, oh, it's, it's Shadow Freddy. Or this has much larger implications because Shadow Freddy is very, very closely connected with those FNAF 3 minigames where the spirits inside of the animatronics go to the safe room. They spring lock, you know, they activate the spring locks in William's spring lock suit. That's where he dies. He gets sealed up. 30 years later, he emerges at Fazbear's Frights. I've also seen some possible theories that Garrett is killed and then he goes on to possess Shadow Freddy because obviously we've got the five kids, but they've already possessed their animatronics. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, you know, Golden freddy but if there's another victim of williams garrett you know mike's younger brother who's like hey guys you know fellow spirits possessing animatronic characters come join me follow me let's go and william once and for all i'd love to know your thoughts and theories on shadow freddy because i mean he's got to be in the film nothing else in this video has been an edit you know like a color shift of a character so absolutely, I do think Shadow Freddy's in the film, but it'll really come down to whether or not he's a quick Easter egg for fans or if he actually means something for the lore. We got Jeff escaping. He's got a flashlight. Light's falling down. This does look like the office, by the way, because we can see the panel that Mike switches. He's escaping through the vent. And then we got someone yelling, hello. Maybe Abby as she's walking into this dining room. The animatronics. Tonight at a local pizzeria where five children who were attending a birthday event suddenly and mysteriously vanished into thin air. Let's head inside for more. And then we get the newscaster talking about the missing children's incident. So it is confirmed. Five kids did go missing at that birthday party. We do know we are going to see a scene of the birthday party in the film itself. Then we get inside shots of the pizzeria. The wall with all the drawings. You can see the animatronics up on the stage. The saw trap again. Some warped talking. I still don't know who that is. Zooming in on the missing children's poster. And you can see whoever's in the saw traps really getting messed up. Just keep your eyes on the monitors and, and, and keep people out. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. We got Chica bending down into the vent. Uh, is the cupcake on the plate? It looks like the cupcake's in the plate. Yeah, so next time we see this scene... Chica's standing up, the cupcake is off the plate, so I think she's bending down to put the cupcake inside the vent. There was a lot happening here as well, so we got Mike sleeping in the office. I think this is the night one phone call. On the monitors and, and, and keep people up. We got a shot of Foxy on the stage. Oh. Piece of cake. And then, 3 a.m. Interesting, it makes it clear it's 3. We get people breaking in. And then we got Max running away. This looks like Max. I do believe that is Max. So either she's running away and she's able to escape the encounter with Freddy, or she's this is before they break in and she goes back to the car to get something. Then we get this incredible scene with Chica and Abby. Seems like they're traveling together. They're looking out for something. And then as Abby retreats, Chica does as well, kind of blocking whatever threat is out this way from Abby. So that is very, very interesting. Keep an eye on this camera as well. Keep an eye on Freddy. Because we can see him walking off the stage. More shots of Kim as hey, well. <laughs> and then <laughs> as we zoom in, keep an eye on this camera. These, these cuddly critters and the proprietary technology that bring them to life are now your sacred duty to protect. Keep them safe and help ensure that Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria is so here to as we zoom in, and entertain look at what we see. Freddy and Bonnie up on the stage with their glowing eyes. Um. But also, that's not all. Because we also see 
fixed FNAF 1 Foxy. For the first time ever, I feel like, we can see him up on his stage performing. So this is obviously one of those flashbacks before Foxy gets all destroyed. So I do wonder if at some point in this film we will see why Foxy's all busted up, you know, why he has so many parts of his suit missing. But just the fact that in this film we are going to see a scene with fixed FNAF 1 Foxy is absolutely incredible. But that's not all because we've got one last scare for the film. You can see Foxy's still performing, he looks awesome. Zooming in on the hallway. You're not gonna get me. Some brand new shots of our purple guy, Spring Bonnie himself. Emerging from the entrance, right? We've seen this clip before where he's right in front of the door, but now we can see him walking into the rest of the establishment. And he looks so, so good. You can see as well the clothing underneath his suit, his chin underneath his suit. It is absolutely amazing. Look at that. It is so, so cool. This is absolutely the scene I'm looking forward to the most. Just Spring Bonnie emerging from the darkness. Like, he, he looks so, so cool. And it looks like he's attacking someone. And finally, for our big news, we have an official FNAF movie website, actually. It's called Freddy's Fan Zone. And as you can see, the site is dedicated to the memories and mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So an in-universe website featuring scans of, as you can see, the original menu of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, as well as the security ta uh, training tape that we've taken a look at previously. The local newspaper for the opening of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, looking for the night guard, as well as that link to the Snapchat filter we took a look at at the start of today's video. And if you want to check out that website by yourself, that will also be linked down below. But now we move on to our final piece of info for this massive FNAF movie news video. Because tomorrow on October the 21st, Docco, Razbowski, 8-Bit Ryan, and Baz will be posting their spoiler-free vlogs from their time visiting the set of the FNAF movie, meeting the animatronics, interacting with them. As you can see, Docco's hugging Freddy Fazbear in this photo. He looks very, very cute. And you can see a bit more of the shenanigans the boys got up to. Ryan running away from Chica, Raz kissing Bonnie. And Docco did also mention after the film releases, there will be another batch of vlogs most likely containing some more spoilery aspects of the film, which is going to be exciting. So hopefully you enjoyed this very in-depth FNAF movie news video. It might be one of the final FNAF movie news videos before it releases again in just one week. There's a few more movie topics I want to touch on before the film releases, my predictions, everything you need to know going into the film, so stay on the lookout for those. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.